So, mm-hmm. Mike, in the 11 years we've been doing this show together, this is the most irate and ticked off Cowboy fans have been in an off season. Uh, normally, all the hate is directed at Jerry. That has all been transferred over to Steven. They're mocking him, calling him Cat Boy. Uh, people are laughing at free agents coming here like we usually do with the Mavericks. Do you understand uh, the the pissed offness from Cowboy fans this off season? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, especially, you know, you lose Amari, and, and 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 then that number changed drastically. And you said, well, Amari would have been a great deal at the number he had. But then there are other factors in that, you know. And, and let me tell you something. Uh, but, but with Stephen Jones, let me tell you what I see. Because with Stephen Jones, I've had these conversations a number of times. And, 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 he, and I think he finally bit on the donut, always lay on the table. Mm-hmm. I always tell him, listen, man, listen, look not only for great athletic skill. Don't just look for the dude that can run and jump. Mm-hmm. Look for attitude. Look for personality. Look for something that can crank a locker room and then move a group. And, and, and I can show you the text that I sent him after we drafted Michael Parson last year, and I told him way before Parson even hit the field what that kid was going to be and what he would do to that locker room. And this year, I think he went and got more of those kinds of guys. Made it a little but, less talented in the draft. I'm talking about in the draft. I'm yeah. talking about in the draft. Made it a little less talented than you would like but more of an attitude that I think would be great for the locker room. I, I, I'm going to have uh, I'm gonna have Tyler Smith on my podcast today, so I can't wait to search his soul. But I hear, I hear good things about the kind of personality and the kind of fight that he has in him. Who are you having on? First round pick. What do you mean? Oh, I thought you said us. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Th- th- my fault. Podcast we're not invited to. I thought you said Sean and RJ. My bad. That was a, uh, I thought. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> hey, I would absolutely love to do Oh, stop. Uh, I love you. You're I, fake in my guy. If only I had creative control of my own podcast. You're fake in my guy. <laughs> fake invite. Oh, let's do lunch. Like, girl, <laughs> like no, girlfriends. No, listen, fake listen, invite guy. No, no, listen, listen. We are going to do that, man. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Just to get people to taste. Or what Dallas area sports are like? It's a great idea. Yeah, and I, I'm a definitely gonna definitely do that. We'll we'll get definitely. more hits than some of these bums you've had on there. We're more entertaining than some of these other people. Yeah, nobody wants to hear from Tom Brady. <laughs> the stuff you talk to Stephen about with competitiveness and traits are. Do you think Amari Cooper lacked that, and is that why he's not here? Uh oh. Uh, it's that's pretty good. Uh-oh. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not going to speak anything to that. Uh-oh. I'm just going to say Uh-oh. that's a pretty good extrapolation trying to come up with something to come at me with. So, yeah, Is that I'm a reach? Was that a reach? Because that that that's what a lot of people are saying, that he didn't have the dog in him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Got him. Top, I got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah, got him. him. Yeah. You, you, you want to move and, on to Randy Gregory? I, I, I will say this to you guys. There's a lot of things, you know, and even I was disappointed with that decision. And and then and then then I then then there's some things that came to light that that pushed me back. That said, okay, maybe I understand more now that, that why that decision was made. You know what I mean? There's some people that came up to me, said some things to me, and with me, that those people that came up to me and said some things to me. Beyond reproach. I don't want to hear. When they say it, that's it. That's it. I don't want to hear. That's how I believe him. This dude. That's how I believe him. When he says it, that's it. So, so I, I changed my stance okay. on that on, on right. the Amari Cooper situation. All right, we'll let you off with that. That's fair enough. Uh, the silence spoke loudly. Mm-hmm. Uh, let LC Randy Gregory gone. Uh, did, did, were you ticked off by either of those? How, how much worse are the Cowboys right now? than the team that lost to San Fran. Yeah, I won't say picked off. Disappointed would be a good word to talk Randy Gregory. You know what I mean? Because, you know, and I, 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 I listen, dude, I love what Jerry does. I love what he does. I love when he finds those guys that, that, that just like he found again this year, he finds a guy that may have had some situations and then 
goes about and say, listen, I believe in you, man. I'm going to believe in the football side of you. I'm going to believe, believe in the man side of you and try to tear and bring something great things out of you and then try to undergird you and help you make great decisions. And ultimately, hopefully, those things work out in the end. You know, those things, I mean, those things work out in the end. And, you, and, and you know, we can be good for one another and, and look out for one another. That's what he wanted to do with Randy Gregory. You know what I mean? That's what they were doing with Randy Gregory. But, you know, the, the truth of the matter is sometimes these agents get involved and agents have the guy's best interest at heart. So so I understand what happened with Randy Gregory. I really understand what happened. I, I hate that we lost him. I hate that we lost him. But I, I, I love that I'm seeing Jerry jumping right back in the fray and doing it again and finding him another young player. But Randy Gregory had really developed into something special. So, yeah. Yeah, we we lose that, and that's another situation. You're talking about losing talent, but are we finding the? Let's go find not just even if the guy's not as talented. Let's make sure we got the right attitude, the right toughness yeah. that, it, it, to put on this football field, and that is real big. The kind of dude that ain't gonna quit and ain't gonna stop. Michael Parson told me he said, "Man, I was sore for two weeks after that San Francisco game. At two weeks." That's how physical. I told you, Sean. Yep. I said they too very physical. That's how physical they say that game was. Now, now, if you ain't got the right mindset, like Jimmy says, fatigue gonna make cowards of you all. Oh my God! Then you get broken on the football field. So personality, attitude, attitude, toughness makes a difference, and hopefully, we'll see that in these drafts. Mike, last thing here. What did you hear the Dallas mayor say that? Hey, we might want another team, another football team in DFW. Would Jerry even entertain that? I would he even allow that. No, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. Are you joking? I'm not sharing <laughs> this. I'm not sharing one dime with no one. Don't even try. Don't mess with me now. You know you can't mess with Jerry. You know what I mean? You can't. Hey, listen. I, I, but but what 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 the mayor's talking about? is really, we, we, we're going to point to Jerry. That's what we're going to do. We're going to point to Jerry and say, Jerry, do Jerry allow this, Jerry allow this, Jerry allow this. It ain't Jerry. Jerry tried to help them. It's, 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 it's Laura Miller who messed this yeah. up. It, dude, 10 years ago, been in meetings with, 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 with big-time community leaders, with, with some of the highest profile, highest, most affluent political leaders, and we, we've been trying to figure out how to help South Dallas, how to help going past downtown. This is 10 years ago. 10 years, this, this has been an issue that we've been working on forever, that people in this area, great people, not, I'm certainly not talking to me, but I'm talking about great people have been working on forever. That's why not putting the Cowboys downtown, this is what the, this is the results and why they're still working on it. So, yeah, I understand him. He ain't saying that crazy. He's saying there's a serious need. There's a serious need, and he's absolutely right. There's a serious need to go past downtown and and and, and help those people. But how do we and help and help our people? And how do we do that? And he's saying we can get another football. He knows that ain't gonna happen. But if he has a big problem, he he uses the biggest thing in this community to bring attention to it. Mm. He had the opportunity and he used it. He's trying to help the people. I ain't got no problem with that. 